Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One US channel where today we're getting our very early first look at the new 11th generation Honda Civic prototype. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, I should note a few things, and that is there is a lot we know about this new Civic, and at the same time, there is a lot we don't know. So this is what we're looking at. This is a prototype model, and in terms of Honda, that means a pretty close representation of what we can expect from the actual production car when it does go on sale uh, sometime next year. We do know that the 11th generation Civic will be offered in two body styles. So this one you're looking at is the sedan and there will be a hatch model to follow as well. Now today it's all about design. Honda's not ready to talk about engine or horsepower, or really any of the technical elements of this car, but we can take a closer look about the design language because it's important not only for the Civic, but really for future Honda models to come. Now, the fun part with this prototype in particular is some of the design elements it's wearing are not necessarily true of each of the trim levels. So it's sort of up to us to guess what could be on the SI or maybe some of it makes its way to the Type R as well. From what I'm seeing, there's probably also a chance at, at some other sport models, maybe even an HPD version, though Honda certainly did not confirm that today. So let's start with a brief overview of the exterior design language and go from there. So starting with the car's overall proportions, this is actually very similar in size to the 10th generation Civic, the car that's still on sale today. Uh, it does ride on the same platform, there are just some tweaks to it, but the bones of this thing are very similar to the current Civic. That said, the approach Honda took with this car is to make it look uh, a lot longer and wider, even though in terms of the dimensions that it's not necessarily true. This car does look a lot longer than the current generation Civic. And for people who are less plugged in with the Honda brand, I wouldn't blame you if you took one look at this car and thought, hey, that's an Accord, right? It's not, but I do think it's indicative of where future cars like the Accord are probably going. Uh, Honda took this piece of sheet metal right here and thinned it out and the hood line itself looks a lot flatter especially up close just like this so the the result of that is that especially the front of this car looks uh, a lot longer overall looking at the headlights specifically right here you do see the the drl lighting signature honda did say that that will pretty much be on every trim level of the civic uh, it's not something specific to just the si or anything like that so we can look at this design element and then in there as well, they did a little demonstration. So you can see uh, when the hazards go on, you can see the high beam and the low beam. The actual design, again, to make it look wider, the grill underneath is certainly a lot wider looking. And then you have this really cool grill element right here where the line just traces all around beneath the headlights. I'm gonna try not to say the words clean and simple over and over again, but those were the words that were stressed to me when they were talking about creating this car. They weren't trying to go crazy with, you know, a million different creases, a million different shapes. It's all about keeping things clean and simple. And in the process, kind of looking back to some of the civics uh, of the past. Some of you are probably noticing by now that this car is actually on summer tires. And when we got into that conversation, Honda basically said, hey, this is still a car we want to perform. This is a car we want to handle and a lot more news to come in that regard but it's wearing summer tires and these are 19 inch wheels which should be indicative of wheels that are to come sometime in the production run as well the side mirrors on the 11th generation have switched locations the current car wears them just about here and this one they moved down to the actual door itself nice change right there uh, and then body lines there's really only a few to point out and that's really on purpose. You have this strong character line that goes right through the middle of the car. You can trace it all the way back into the headlight right here. And then there's one additional line sort of down below. And again, you can trace it and then it curves up the rear door area as well. Something like this, this nice uh, black piece down here, which makes it look a little more aggressive, a little more sporty. They did say that could be a part of one of the future cars I'm thinking maybe for something like the SI. And this side profile angle right here is I think where this car deviates the most in terms of its design language. I'll leave it up to you to see what elements you like the least or the best, uh, but majority of the action is right here in the C pillar area. But none of these trends of floating roofs or anything that's super contemporary 
Um, this car's design looks like it will definitely stand the test of time. Then we make our way around to the rear three quarter right here. We see a lot more Accord, right? But that's not a diss at all. We have these nice split tail lights. There's no light bar that connects or anything like that. And then we do have uh, somewhat similar of a DRL design uh, as we see in the headlights too. This car is wearing dual tailpipes. Not sure if that's gonna be on every trim level or just specific to certain models, but I can say that the way this one is laid out, very nice, very nice indeed. And Honda also pointed out, if you look at the, the trunk, there is a bit of a spoiler built into it. It's not anything crazy. There's not an additional piece of sheet metal that stands up either. It's just this one sort of clean line that runs across the trunk lid just like this. You can see that it does sort of duck up a little bit uh, into sort of a makeshift spoiler. Now, unfortunately, we're not allowed to open the door and peek inside just yet, but I can show you this image. I can put a better version of it up on the screen right now, but at least I can show you this uh, design board and, and reference some of the things that the designers were just discussing with me. Uh, check this out. This is a big, big difference for both the Civic and just Hondas in general, right? I mean, we see, we've known for a while based on spy shots and things like that, that the center display is moving out of the console and is they're going to stick it on top of the dash right now. This long horizontal piece of trim that extends from the center console over to the passenger side. And if you look closely right here, you can see this sort of honeycomb texture. I haven't seen it in person yet because it won't show us inside of the car, but it does hide the air conditioning vents um, and actually looks pretty cool. There is a nine inch display. It does have a beautiful, beautiful volume knob for those of you that are concerned about that. And this is also going to be the first time that any Honda product is getting a full digital display. So that will be available on this car as well. So that's kind of where we're left right now. I mean, there is a lot more we have to find out. This is exciting though. I mean, definitely we want to take a closer look at the hatch and the design elements that make its way from the sedan over to the hatch. And then of course, we're very interested to learn more about both the SI and the Type R variants, both of which we know are coming. But for now, here's a very early first look at the 11th generation Honda Civic prototype.